Hello everyone, what is good? It's Al from Exiles and just to say thank you very much for the uh, huge amount of views we got on um, the Dino deck profile. Um, it's still running good and strong, uh, still a very disgusting deck but I thought we would take a step back and do something a bit budget, you know. Um, Shadol's just got some new support, reprints and the like in the new structure deck, Shadol Showdown. Um, and now would be a great opportunity to um, showcase a very cheap yet effective board breaking deck strategy which has been enhanced with brand new support. Now, Shadol was probably the first deck to ever come out that really warped the way we play Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, because when Shadol first debuted, the game went from just, you know, setting a card and a couple of back row to fusing from, you know, the main deck and just plussing out your ass. Um, but this brand new support is here and this is a very budget, user-friendly deck profile that I'm giving you today. There's going to be no cards in this deck that are worth more than, I don't know, £5. And before you ask... Where's the emergency teleport? Yes, I am planning on playing it. It's just at the moment I couldn't get my hands on one, so I had to make do with what I had. All of the cards, well, and the majority of the cards you can you find um, in the deck profile today can be found in the new Shadow structure deck. But without further ado, let's go. Okay, so I'm playing three copies of new Reshadow Wendy. This um, card has, well, all Shadow monsters have both a flip effect and an effect if they're sent to the graveyard by a card effect. Her flip effect lets you special summon the Shadow monster from your deck and face up or face down defense position, and her uh, grave effect allows you to special summon one from your deck in face down de defense position only. This is basically your combo starter. It combos off really well with the new trap, and it can net you some extremely good advantage, as well as getting a face up flip monster onto the board if you so want to use the link monster which we will explain later, um, a card that's going to be incredibly more useful come Master All 5. So we're playing three of her. Uh, we're playing one Aerial. Now, her. Now, a lot of people wonder, why play this one? You know, um, and I'm thinking, well, first of all, it lets you target any of your Banished Shadow monsters and special summon it in face up or face down defense position. That's her flip effect. If you combo this off of the trap card, you can basically special summon the monster you banished off of the trap card with her effect, uh, all simultaneously. As well as the fact that she has an effect when sent to the graveyard by card effect, she can banish three cards from the graveyard, which can really disrupt your opponent's plays, especially if you use her as fusion material during your opponent's turn. Uh, we've got one Chaos. The uh, flip effect is to special summon the Shadow from the hand as well as the fact you can send him to the graveyard by card effect to boost monsters on your side of the field by 100 attack and defense for the level of the Shadow monster you sent with that effect. It's not great, but it is a light target and it's just nice to have in a pinch, especially being new, another Shadow name that you can dump from the deck to the graveyard. Now onto the old Shadows, we're playing three Hedgehog. This, this little guy's uh, flip effect lets you add a Shadow Spell or Trap from your deck to your hands, as well as if you send to the graveyard, he nets you a monster from your deck. Keep in mind that, that all of the Shadows, uh, you can only use one of their effects per turn. You can either use the flip effect or the sent to graveyard effect. Beast's flip effect lets you draw two, then discard one. And uh, if sent to the graveyard, you get to draw a card. Um, I was planning on showcasing Cap Shell in Shadows. Uh, Cap Shell, of course, lets you draw a card if it's sent to the graveyard as fusion material. So if you had Cap Shell and sent it off um, with Beast uh, to go into Windy, you get to draw two, which is very nice. But unfortunately, I don't have a Cap Shell with me at the moment. We are going for two Squamata. This one is pre predominantly used to dump your trap card into the graveyard off of Shadow Fusion and start your combos off like that. But you can also use it to net you more Shadow cards into the graveyard if you so choose, as well as its flip effect being monster removal that you might need in the pinch. Two Dragon. Uh, dragon I like to think of as the aggro card. Its flip effect lets you target a card your opponent controls or return it to the hand. 
and if it's sent to the graveyard you get to pop a spell or trap on the field. Double Falco. This one special summons a Shadol from your graveyard and face down defense position if uh, you if it's flipped face up and if it is sent to the graveyard it can special summon itself in face down defense position. A nice little material you can have on the board and uh, just another body in case you need to use it. Triple Mathematician, this dumps your Shadows from deck to the graveyard. Need I explain more? It triggers their effects. And it's also an Earth attribute if you want to go into Shekinaga. One Armageddon Knight because all of your Shadow monsters are dark and you want to trigger those spicy effects. Now for the fire target, you do find this in the Shadow uh, structure deck to Lava Golem. This card's quite hilarious because even though you can't normal summon after using it, essentially, if your opponent's made a big board of silly negating monsters, like what Spiral normally does, you tribute over both of their pop problem monsters and then see if you can bait out any more negates and just Shadow Fusion off and just kill them like that, basically. And the one trick clan for the extra light target, as well as an extra body that you can use as material for Cloth Sheep or uh, just have it on the board you know uh, fusion spells triple shadow fusion everyone knows what this does if your opponent controls a monster with special summon from the extra deck you can use materials from your deck to fusion summon a shadow uh, an elf shadow monster from your extra deck this card is ashable um which is very sad uh because it does um you know send from deck to the graveyard in its card text uh however if this card does resolve and you have a way to stop your opponent from stopping it, then you are going to have a good time. This triggers off so much stuff like your Squamata, sending the trap, banishing the trap to flip one of your monsters face up, special summoning more stuff, going into cross sheep, bringing something back from the graveyard. It all it all flows together really nicely. Double El Shadow Fusion, very much apologise for the mixture of rarities in this deck. I am in the process of trying to find my Ultras again because I did get like a box and a half of Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge where they all got pr printed in Ultras. Or was that dual power? I can't really remember. It's been a, such a long time. Turbulent Year for me. Again, quick play spell, use it in the battle phase. OTKs galore. Uh, and Triple Super Poly. I have a feeling this card will probably go back to one at some point, but it's you're dealing with all of the attributes in your extra deck. If you have a Shadow monster on the field, there's always going to be a monster your opponent controls that you can remove off of a Super Poly, which is a very nice utility. Now for the Spice, well this isn't really Spice, this is an extra Foolish Burial. So it will become more apparent when we go into the extra deck, but basically you pay half of your life points to search any Shadow card, because you can dump this one up Cologne to the graveyard off the extra deck and search like that. That's what you use it for. Double twin twisters. Uh, we like this. We don't have lightning storm because this is a budget deck, but it does its job, doesn't it, guys? Double allure. You probably can cut this card. You, you're not really messing about with that many dark attributes, but it's nice to have in a pinch. The one foolish burial. It's always nice to have that in a pinch as well. And another, uh, slightly controversial, but we're doing it anyway, Triple Reshadol Incarnation. I am of the strong opinion that this is the best card in the deck, the best new support card for Shadows, because, yeah, sure, it's on-field effect, a special summon a Shadol from your graveyard in face-up or face-down defense position is bloody brilliant, but the fact that you can banish it from the graveyard during the same turn it turn it was sent to flip any of your Shadol monsters face-up or I think it's anything, to be honest, can just bring you out so much advantage, it is unreal. If you play this right, you can end on multiple fusion monsters, link monster, the, the Shadow link monster, cross sheep, and just go on from there. It is absolutely crazy, and I really think this was an amazingly needed card for the deck. Now then, moving on to the extra deck. We have three copies of Apcolone, or Al Capone as my friends like to call it. Uh, by the looks of things, uh, Ariel has got into a nice little bit of a tiz was with Evagishki Mind August. <laughs> so if uh, she is brought out, she can negate the effects of a face up card on the field. Very nice disruption during your opponent's turn if you use the quick play fusion spell. 
And of course, if she sent to the graveyard, you can search any Shadal card and then discard a card from your hand, triggering more Shadal effects. A very nice card indeed. Triple Constraints. We all know what she does. She's back at three, so why not play her at three? Dump any Shadal card from your deck to the graveyard on summon. And the fact that she can just out pretty much any um, special summon monster at the start of the damage step is just fantastic. All of the El Shadal monsters, apart from App Cologne, have the ability to recycle uh, Shadal Spell or Traps from the graveyard if they're sent to the graveyard. So all around El Shadal Construct has her home set. One Grista, this one is basically sort of negates summons. Um, there's not much else to say about that. Can you get the, the special summon and afterwards you send a Shadol card from your hand to the graveyard to do that and negate it. Uh, the one Winder, this is a massive roadblock for a lot of decks against um, uh, in the current format. If you have a Winder on the field, it restricts them to one special summon a turn. So it's a big roadblock. You, probably, you can bump this, if you're gonna bump anything up to two, um, of the one-offs, it's definitely going to be Winder. Uh, and also, the lovely alternate art on the and these cards are fantastic. I really like the construct alternate art. It looks fantastic. Uh, big Shrekinaga. Can negate monster effects of special summon monsters by then sending a Shadal card from your hand to the graveyard afterwards. Also has a really nice 3,000 defense. Uh, then we have Anoyatilis. So this one prevents sort of special summons from uh, the hand or grave with spell or trap effects. So for example, it can negate things like Monster Reborn, I guess. Yeah, you don't really go into this a lot, but it's a nice card to have. Especially for the, you know, water coverage in case water becomes a big thing in the future. Wendigo, Wendigo is here. <laughs> Sorry, Wendigo. Then some Super Poly targets. We've got Starving Venom and Mud Dragon. Uh, we've got Shadow Construct. Um, much more useful in Master of Five, but it's still usable now. It gives you additional fusion summon capability and it can bring itself back from the graveyard by pitching a Shadow from your hand. However, if she is in the extra monster zone, you, at the current time of recording this, you can't use her to fusion summon unless you have more zones free. But with things like Cross Sheep right here, bringing Construct out underneath its Link Arrows can never be a problem. And you can go into multiple fusion monsters and just kill things outright. Um, I'm so happy that Cross Sheep was uh, printed as a rare. Although it seemed to be quite hard to pull out of packs, this card is a, a, a invaluable resource. It, it just helps so much. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I'm sorry it's not very, you know, any meta deck or anything, but it's nice to, you know, have a new structure deck that comes out that can be both nostalgic and powerful at the same time. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I will hopefully see you in the next video where I will be profiling Cubics with a little bit of spice. Thank you, and see you later.